What's up, Sorter? It's Kid here with uh, another video for patch 2.3. This one's going to be the uh, Tauntaun Guide, how to get the uh, mount for the new Tauntaun pet that's out there. Uh, it's actually a vehicle. You can actually ride it. It's pretty cool. Um, first things first, uh, there's a couple ways of doing this, which I'm going to tell you. You need to get on to Hoth. Uh, Rebs is Arc uh, Station, as soon as you come down. What you're going to do is you're just going to drive right up to the front, just on the way out to where you're going to exit this place spaceport uh there's animal vendors right about here that's where you need to talk to um there's a couple of ways of doing it now if you have the money you can pretty much buy it for 1.5 million or 2.2.2 2 million whatever uh that's if you want to get it done quick and easy if you have the credits go for it um the quest is kind of a pain in the ass but it's doable uh, but I'll show you a little bit ways of helping you get it a little bit easier. But anyway, you just make your way all the way to the entrance here, and you're going to see a bunch of people here, uh, these two Tauntaun guys. Um, one, there's two different types of pets. I got the t Tundra Tauntaun just because I thought it looked better, but it's it's whatever you choose. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's going to cost you 15 Tauntaun domestication datas. Okay, and here's how you get them. First, just another vendor here. She's got a different Tauntaun. It's a mountain Tauntaun. It's just a little bit darker. Uh, your choice, what you want. Uh, it's 20 uh, domestic data, uh, domestication datas. So here's the thing. You can either buy it. You can buy 15 of these or 20 of these for 100k apiece. The Tauntaun domestication datas. Uh, or you can go and do the quest. It's not actually a quest. You just, you just basically, uh, it's like the ice scrabbler jerky with the Tauntaun before. You buy a ton of these. I, I usually buy 100 because it's not guaranteed. All right, and I'll tell you why in a second. So you buy a good amount of these. Buy a stack, maybe 100, or if you want to buy 50 at first, whatever. Um, buy a stack of these Tauntaun lures, okay? Once you get your stack, make sure they're in your inventory. Put them somewhere where it's easy access. Now you're going to have to go and find nests where the Tauntaun uh, fawns are. They're baby Tauntauns. There's three in each nest. Now... There's three different areas where these nests can spawn. There's a total of six nests. One is in the uh, Clayburn Tundra. There's about three there. Okay. Um, so about three in this area. Uh, I'm sorry. Three in this area here. Okay. Then there's two in Icefall Plains. It's mostly populated by imps. And there is one up in Winter Rock uh, Outpost Crush. It's literally right here. So what I do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you, I've already done this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick and easy way, not easy, but a quick little run. It's like a circle to get it. It's more beneficial. Uh, what will help you is if you have alts. Uh, if you can have like level 45 plus alts or whatever it takes to get on this planet. I think it's 42. I can't remember. But if you have 55 alts, use them. Uh, buy about 50 on each alt. And all you do is you go to each uh, nest and make your one round, which I'll show you in a second, then log off, get on another alt, and do it. Okay, because what happens is the nests have a 1.5 hour and a half spawn time. So by the time that you get done with each round, you can get on your alt, start it again, get on another alt, start it again, or whatever. And you can, that's how I did mine pretty quickly. Um, like I said, you need 15 of them, and not every time you get them. So it's it can be tedious if you don't have alts, it, or you just take it longer than others. If you get like 10 of these, you can buy the rest of the five for 100k a piece. Big deal, 500k. But anyways, the first uh, nest, which we're going to enter now, here's our base. Just goes head straight east. All right, it's around this area right here. You'll see the nests are big, gold-looking things on the ground. Um, and what I'm going to do is, hang up, while I'm doing this, I'm going to write down the chords for you. That way, you know, you can just look on the location and see where they're at. Um... You'll see a bunch of people. Here's a nest right here, okay? And the coordinates for this, which I'm going to put in the video, is negative 2494 and 66, all right? So all you do is you make sure you have your tauntaun meat, or the lure, I'm sorry. There's three little fawns here. You click them. And make sure you're off your pet first, all right? And you see how uh, the tauntaun lure, you click. If it lights up, you can do it. Okay, and what's going to happen is you're going to either have a success or a failure on this. So I'm going to click it. Failed to lure. 
Okay, so you try it again on the third one. Make sure you do all three, even if you do get a spawn. What's going to happen is if it works, it's going to successfully uh, spawn a Tauntaun. So you're going to see a big Tauntaun come out, and you got to protect it. And then a Wampa will come out and try to kill that Tauntaun. There you go. So you protect this Tauntaun here. There's going to be a Wampa coming out. you got to wait for him. There he is. So you kill him. Make sure the Tauntaun stays alive. It's not too hard, it's just they stun, of course. Sometimes people will get next to you. Let's make sure. Okay, and once you kill them, you're going to get a. Um, on top here, you get some credits. Alright, but up top here on the pending, mission complete, you're going to get these Tauntaun domestication datas. Okay? Alright, so now we're done with that. That's one. Okay, um, I don't think. I think I did all three. But just in case, check them. If you can still, the meat's not ready yet, okay? The lure, I'm sorry. So anyway, we're finished with that one. So what I usually do is I go over to Outpost Crush and get on the uh, speeder. And I'll show you uh, where to go next. But I'm, I'm going to pause the video so it doesn't take too much time. So once I get there, I'll be right back. Okay, we're at the uh, Crush... Sorry, the Crush... Uh, the crush outpost with a speeder. So you can jump on this speeder. Hopefully you have it. We're going to head down to Jagged Hills Republic Outpost speeder. All right. And now there's going to be three in this area. So while we get down to this area, um, this is it's you're going to have imps running around. If you're on a PvE uh, server, I guess you wouldn't have to worry about it. But I'm on a PvP, so uh, today it seems like everybody is working together, but that's not going to last very long. When people get it, they're going to start attacking people. So Either way, um, there's going to be three area spots, three nests, to get this, um, to get some of the uh, the data items that we need for the quest. Um, let me see here. Uh, we should be there pretty soon. It's in the Clayborn, Clayburn Tundra. This this is my uh, circle that I use. I start off right at Orc. I come back down here and I do these three. And then what I'll do is I'll jump on an alt and do the same pattern. But I kind of stay away from the two. There's two in Ice Wall Plains. It's mostly imps down there, at least when I, was, I, when I went there last. So it's kind of tough. But uh, I'm going to give you all the looks for all of them, uh, the coordinates for all of them, just so you can do whatever you want. And hopefully it helps you out. But uh, we're coming now to the drop point here, and I'll show you real quick where the three are. And I'll give you the coordinates. Uh, the first one, uh, what you may want to do is make this pattern here. Uh, once you leave the uh, the taxi, the spot is right here. One nest is here, which I'll give a look when we get there. Uh, here's another one that's right here. And also one right here. So we're going to head over to the uh, east one first. We're going to knock that out. And it's going to take a little bit here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. And until I get there, and then we'll start up again, so don't waste your time. Okay, we're back. Uh, on the map, this is the east one, uh, east of Jagged Plains. The coordinates are negative 2265, 49. There's a nest down here. Uh, let's see what happens. There's three again. See, he just spawned one, so he's going to get a, uh, a wampa that he has to defeat. It's right there. So I'm going to try mine as well. And I just want to show you, not all of them, so you failed. I may fail on these because I just got one. So that's how they basically uh, make it a time sink. That's the two. And that's why in the beginning I told you to buy like 100 or 50 of these lures because, oh, there's another one, which is good. So another Wampa is going to come out. Let's go ahead and kill him. You'll go ahead and be able to kill this guy, and you'll get the, uh... I don't want to steal it from this guy. I hope I didn't. I hope he got his. Okay, good. So, yeah. So, then there's another one. Okay. And, um, just so you guys know, these items are tradable. So, that's why I say jump on your alts and do them. Because you, should, you just email them to your main that you want to have it on. 
and you'll get them all. So, and another thing is too, I think you can sell these. I'm thinking about selling them for 75k a piece for people that don't want to do the quest. So that's something. It's a nice farm farming tool until they say, hey, you know what? Once you do the Tauntaun quest, we're probably gonna not like to do it again. But something to think about if you want to make some extra money. Um, but it is it is time consuming, so it's some good rewards. All right, next one we're gonna do is right over here, which is going to be um, just east of Drift Hills Republic Depot. Once I get there, uh, I'm going to pause the video, but once I get there, I'll show you it again. Okay, we're back. Now, we're at the middle spawn point for the nest in the Claiborne Tundra, or Claiborne Tundra, sorry, just east of uh, Republic Depot. In this little area right here, coordinates are negative 28, 36, and 14. By the way, I'm going to post this in the description, all these locations for each one, so it'll help you out a little bit. Um, do the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing. I'm not going to do it because uh, it's going to take too much time. I'm trying to get, just show you guys the locations, but same thing. Uh, put your, your your lures down there and just spawn them and do the same thing. So next one is going to be the third nest is going to be west, which is right here in this area. Um, I'm going to ride over it to it right now and then give you the locations. And then uh, I'm going to pause the video, but I'll be right back. Right back. Okay, we're back. Now, we are on the west side of the Clayburn Tundra. This is the west and final nest. Uh, use this as a landmark, whatever this is, and just, just diagonal southeast of it. Uh, your coordinates for this nest are negative 3477 and 101. Nest is right there. Do the same thing. Okay, the next one is going to be down here in the Icefall Plains. So this is going to be a nice little trek down here. There's two more down here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down there now. You're, this is going to be an imp base down here. So you're going to have to go through this tunnel, but it's going to lead you right to the imp base. There's a way to get on top of it and get over it to where you can get back on this path again. So follow this road down here all the way to the Iceville Plains. When, I'm going to pause the video, but once I'm there, I'm going to give you the look of both of the uh, areas. So just hang on. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. Now we're back to the... Uh, the West Nest in the Icefall Plains. Um, look at Dorn Base as kind of like your guide, straight south, and look for this kind of like ledge right here looking thing. And those coordinates are negative 28, 10, and 99. Okay. Uh, Rebs are going to come from up top here. There's an imp base here. You have to get over that. You're going to come up top here and just follow this all the way down to this little ledge right here. All right. Uh, nest is right there. Do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Uh, now for the east one, which is the final, uh, sixth and final one. Uh, this one is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, right here on this ledge. Uh, right in this little corner here. Uh, negative 17, 13, 973 roughly, but when I get there I'll give you the cords. So uh, give me a minute while I travel there, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're at the sixth and final spot nest for the uh, Tauntaun quest here. Again, Icefall Plains in this area right here. The, the exact location coordinates are negative 17, 24, and 97. Um, as you can see, it's taken about 15 minutes at least to do this. Uh, that's without traveling time. So you figure it's about 45 minutes probably with a traveling time, roughly. Um, the spawn time on these are an hour and a half. So that's why I say earlier, you may want to do this round, jump on an alt, and do the exact same circle again. And if you have another alt, do it again. Um, because what will happen is the you won't be able to uh, click the tauntauns, the fawns, to give them the lures. There's a time limit. It's about an hour, hour and a half. So um, just keep that in mind. So once you do that, um, you get the, uh, the little tauntaun domestication devices right here. Once you get 15 of them, you head back to Arc Base. Uh, the cantina and all you do is you just turn them in. It's kind of like the Gree events. You know how they have the Gree weapons and all that for what the 18 per weapon I think it is. The Gree whatever. The device that they give you for each quest that you complete. So once you get back to the cantina you just go back to that same guy that you bought the lures from which is right in the beginning here. Um, right in the beginning right here the animal trainers Okay, and if you have 15 saved up, um, you can buy it or 20. Depends. The 20 one is the is the mountain one, and the tundra one is the 15 one. So, I don't have it yet. I already got it, but 15 of them, 
you can get it. Um, but remember, send if you want to send over your uh, if you've done with your alt, send over your Tauntaun domestication data to your mains that you want the Tauntaun for, and you can do that. So that'll help you get it done a little bit quicker and save you some money. Again, if you get ten of them, eleven of them, and you just are tired of questing and getting it, you want to get it fast. Just buy the uh, datas for a uh, hundred k a piece. A couple datas will re replenish your money anyway. So, and that's pretty much all you need to know. So, hopefully this helps. Um, you can get this tauntaun done really fast. Um, they are pretty cool mounts. They uh, just like uh, I guess you need a lot of SWG reference. When I used that, did they have that? I can't remember. I think they did. But uh, there's what it looks like. Makes a little noise and everything. And uh, this is how they run. So they and they do whatever speeder pilot you are rank one, two, or three. They conform to that. So if you're speeder speeder pilot three, 110 percent uh, speed boost. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. If you hopefully like the video, just uh, give me a like. And uh, if you have any more questions, just please let me know and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, so thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I know it's a little bit longer than usual, but I do appreciate you guys watching. So have a good one. This is Kid. I'm out.